a snack. The daily things. Uh, I'm sorry, okay. Trey, but I'm gonna have to step in and say that you're selling this game a bit short already. It's actually Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 plus 2.5 uh, <laughs> HD colon re colon mix. And I it wish you were that. lying. Remember, pick up. Uh, we just have to make a him. disclaimer at the beginning that so, we're going to crap on this game a lot, but it comes from a well, place of love. These yeah, guys are. Uh, also, it's very important that we never stop talking while Hikaru-san is singing, because yeah. if we do, yeah. this video will get stolen by the YouTube goblins. Uh, it, so. Inside baseball, this <laughs> raw was this raw video was actually like blocked like, to the US. It was fucking sniped. Sorry, there's the first F bump. Uh, it was sniped by the, the Universal Media. Are open. Yeah, it was sniped by the Universal Media Group, which isn't even SquareSoft or Disney or a record studio. It's just a Russian hacking group that like fucking camps on copyrights. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> if anybody this, yeah, wouldn't it be like anonymous. Sony Music or something? Yeah. yeah, you can tell how upset Trey is by this, by how uh, how flagrantly he is ignoring the uh, the um, the MPAA uh, ratings. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I guess is this game rated T for to everyone. T for to everyone. <laughs> it's one um, Hikari slash simple and clean. If I had I'm sorry, but iPod? Sora just looked at the camera and I just, in my head, was like, so I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if, an ocean. if I had had an iPod as a child, uh, that would have been one of the only songs on it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I might have tried to make an AMV of it. <laughs> yes, I did. I uh, did. I remember it. It I'm was in Windows surprised. Movie Maker and it was with Roroni Kenshin characters. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that happened. What are uh, you so, doing there, Trey? Welcome to our uh, first that Evil Four to Kingdom Hearts vids to khvids.com. Uh, khvids.net, <laughs> and I'll talk about that in a hot second. Uh, uh, do we want to get back to the our first experience with Kingdom Hearts thing though? Uh, picture me, a uh, little little fat kid in uh, oh. uh, probably fourth grade, and I talked about it Coward. with my cousin who was into uh, Square. <laughs> Games. Also, Trey just made his first of many mistakes in this playthrough. Um, <laughs> you call him a but, coward. Uh, I call him wise. <laughs> anyway. You guys are shaming me already, and I haven't even. <laughs> I'm not shaming you. I'm on board anything. with this. I mean, I would have dropped I, the sword and I dropped me. the shield as a kid. I would have. I was a real boy. I dropped the staff personally, but yeah. You always pick the wand. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> I. Nice. So Nick, I would say among the people here, you probably have the most Kingdom Hearts expertise. Like you've played the most games out of any of us, and read the most of the wiki. Yes, oh, <laughs> because God. my my expertise, A if you in, in, in massive. Speaking of, uh, so you'll see here that uh, Trey is doing a swordless run of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, shields only, baby. Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah these so, guys are fun to fight with a shield which has no range. Yeah, you gotta be right up on the grill. You'll be thanking yourself the game later. punishing you for your incorrect decision. <laughs> you, uh, I'm aware of what the initial choices do vaguely, but because not, I've like, read about it do. on the internet. But yeah. I okay. do not care to know? know what they do. Yeah, I read the wiki for every member of Organization 13 back before, <laughs> like, Coded was out. Anyway, um... Uh. Yeah. Uh, Nick knows everything there is to know about Kingdom Hearts, but only the stuff that doesn't matter, namely the story. The light is brighter from the front, mm. but it just teleports you to the front. The light the is brighter from it. the front. That actually sounds like something this text would say. Get uh, right, yeah. God. My, I like treasures. I like... Uh, <laughs> well, Dan, you just don't understand the cool Japanese things. culture. Oh my God. <laughs> it's about well, the yeah, culture. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe that... So, uh, here, here you see me trying to get a good thumbnail. I apologize to all the watchers. <laughs> you know, okay. you you have editing software, Trey. No. You're allowed to just cut that part out. No, it's flavor. <laughs> so, uh, so, yes, there is, in fact, voice acting in this game, even though they omitted it in the <laughs> intro. And for the most part, you know, considering the point games were at, uh... In the early 2000s, I'd say the voice acting in this game is pretty solid on the whole. Oh, yeah. Especially and it's, for it's, a Japanese-produced game. Uh -huh. uh, it's very Disney Channel appropriate. So, right, uh, they got a lot of people like, um... Yeah, sure. 
Hayden Panettiere, I believe, uh, is the voice of... No, Hayden oh, Panettiere is a woman. Uh, it's, um... Well, I'm not... For Kyrie. <laughs> oh, oh, I know right. Sora uh, is Haley Joel Osment, all right? That's why, you, yes. that's why you need to stop interrupting me, dude. I sometimes know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, man. I know everything, okay? I'm always right. And, and here's best boy, Riku. Log. <laughs> we all see ourselves in Riku. So... Uh, so Selfie is the. I just wa recently watched a speed run of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Yes, I spent nine hours of my life watching a speed run of a <laughs> Final Fantasy game. I have no life. I mean, also, I also I'm that single. Sometimes. Hit me up, ladies. I I really just like challenged myself for no reason. What a god dang yeah. Sora winner move that was. A Sora winner, if you will. Hey. You kind of have to enjoy it while it lasts because Kingdom Hearts for me kind of goes off the rails after a certain point where like all this crazy crap is going down and I just can't like relate to it on any kind of emotional level but this is just you know it's it's just kind of like these these three kids like growing up together and you know so this scene Kingdom Hearts just kind of goes off the rails after a certain point which we might see in this episode <laughs> in like you know five minutes my uh but Mickey my father Mouse was the a only goofy? Disney character but Mickey Mouse was not one of those statues. And and his father was a Goofy, and I will also be a Goofy. Well, wait, if your father is a Goofy, doesn't that make you a Max? Oh yeah. Oh, no, this is where you type in Riku smells. <laughs> Either way, I win! Hey, someone forgot to finish this! Riku smells. Gears. Ooh. Gear, gear, ship. It's the mighty yeah. gear ship. Trey, you've, 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 you've passed the you've passed the test of loyalty, Trey. Yes, you've passed the uh, congratulations using all caps test as well. But you yeah. didn't call it the friendship, so uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're fired. So, we're the mission right now is to uh, collect all these random items mm -hmm. to get on the uh, to put on the raft, yeah. and one of them makes me laugh every time. Because she hands him a canteen and says, "Go get water," and not from the ocean. Well, yeah, the implication well, that Sora not. has to be told. Yeah. <laughs> they regularly have to stop Sora from going out and like drinking salt water. <laughs> Sora, come because, back. Because wrong because wrong you body of water. To, because you just have to test it out. You, you of course, go out and try to get it from the ocean anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sure is pretty, pretty dumb. <laughs> get ready for the most ambiguous babbling ever spoken in video game history. Yeah, I wonder how much, how many times they had to get uh, to pay I Billy Zane on Cameo to get these lines. <laughs> yeah. How many five hundred dollars? I wonder how bad his kids needed shoes. <laughs> Dad, I didn't need them that bad. <laughs> they all just live in caves. <laughs> yeah, that's something See, they don't really, really do a good things. job of making clear here, is that this is not the island where these kids live. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. This is like, like an island that they go to every day just to like play and hang out. Yeah, this is the Corona Quarantine yeah. Island. The, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, <laughs> No, everyone's happy because it's it's a, it's a straight up Naruto it's situation. It's just a triangle where everyone's happy because Riku likes Sora, God. Sora likes Riku, <laughs> Riku likes Kairi, Kairi likes Riku, Sora likes Kairi, Kairi likes Sora. <laughs> Boom, triangle. <laughs> Sora walked or Riku walked over to the beach that morning and saw the the pitiful little raft with the meager supplies <laughs> that Sora gathered, like three coconuts and a sandwich, and, and so he like, sold his soul to right, Billy Zane. Darkness it is. <laughs> Well, it's like, yeah. Again with yeah. these enemies. See, I in, love that, these in, that, in that scene, uh, Sora's heart bored Kyrie. Uh, <laughs> God. We're, we're going to gloss over that uh, for a second here. Uh, or forever. I think forever. Would you better. say that uh, he is oh, her Horcrux? Okay, that's a different thing now. So that's, <laughs> that's a little more uh, G rated. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Horcrux. <laughs> Kingdom Horcrux. Well, <laughs> stop! <laughs> this has gone too far. So, so the I yeah. camera angles. Can we get a quick straw poll on um <laughs> on Traverse Town versus Control Traverse yourself, Town? Control yourself, Sora. Jeez. <laughs> uh, quick straw poll. Traverse Town, Traverse Town. Traverse Town. Which one? All right. Well, town. well, that's one of those. Of I, th I think it's one of those potato potato things because the word is traverse. You don't traverse well, yes. exactly. unless you're but, a three wise men. Or, but that's but you the also don't. Uh, you also don't hydro city. But I will. You hydrocity. 
<laughs> don't you say that word in my house, Nick. I, I still don't know which one's real. What, the, <laughs> How many no, times have I told you? I, I, How can I? It's, tra oh. it's traversity. <laughs> oh, I thought that you were talking about like, anyway, candles. Anyway. They really hmm. missed a golden opportunity to have a Dalmatian's world in Kingdom Hearts 3 where they turn Sora into a Dalmatian <laughs> and you and you have to go round Every up the Kingdom puppies Hearts again. Fans After it went but, so yeah. well with the Lion King world in 2. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, Trey, the furries already got the Lion King world. Mm, they need another, they need to be catered to a little more. They're, oh, they're over at Square Enix, they're looking at their like demographic and they're seeing like a Venn diagram of like <laughs> Kingdom Hearts fans and furries and like the overlap. They're like, all right, we what need more animal worlds. What percentage of the game do we need to dedicate to appeasing the furries? Every year, the slivers <laughs> get closer and closer. All right, what 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 do furries love? They they love lion. They love the Lion King. They love dogs. Uh, <laughs> uh they love they love they love, uh, they love bears uh, in both mm. senses of the word. I don't. Who I know will make Pete let's, let's make a lion. let's make Sora down a goofy uh, down ma make Sora a dog, but he's like a purple dog with like a green snout and like human hair. I think I know why Riku is depressed. <laughs> because he's he's, his... he's he's in the middle of the Red Sea as Moses was parting it. He lost mm. his voice and he can't jump good. Yeah. Well, there... Yeah, Maleficent stole his voice so that she could marry Kyrie. <laughs> The that was actually the goal of the game. The re so, this is the key. Well, it's a key. I like that. I like that Donald and Goofy got brought to the Weeb room, and Sora <laughs> got sent to the normal, like Western style room. Yeah. What do you mean normal room, dude? <laughs> so the room. Obviously, in Traverse Town is in America. Some... <laughs> I. So that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's how I would react if I was just told that information. Honestly, Sora's so not used to being alone in a room with a woman. I know Leon's still uh, there. Yeah. That's how you dance to ska. That's called skanking. Uh, <laughs> that's how you skank. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like Sora. Key plus lock equals goodies. I didn't know that you could read those paintings. Yeah. Yeah. He had to be told not to drink seawater. You think he's so. gonna know how to use a giant key? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> We're gonna hey, become go Harry. A nice camping trip with all your friends. Yeah. This, <laughs> this friends. episode brought to you by Coleman. Hey, fire up the Coleman! I don't know. I can't so imagine this is... Bill Farmer saying that line. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. <laughs> Goofy yeah. gets a job Every, as like a flight attendant. Anything that happens in space stays in space. I mean, that's the rules. To be fair, fair Joe, Bill Farmer did say, How many cups of sugar does it take to get to the moon? <laughs> it's just the Lewis Carroll poem put to like a very subtle backing track. Like, and it's awesome. Wait, was he actually a master of rap? <laughs> Find out. Ne <laughs> okay, I don't remember. Well, I don't know what version of Alice in Wonderland you've seen, but the one I saw had no rapping in it. Also, Trey, what do you think poems <laughs> are? You're right. <laughs> what was he All doing poems are just slow rap. Poems are just rap without beat. So, uh, I don't want to alarm you guys, but I don't have any potions. I don't mean to alarm you, but I've been alerted to the presence of a potion or high potion in this house. Don't worry, though. High potions will work. <laughs> You sure? By the yes. way, uh, you did get a potion from that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you crashed the game for a second. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Um, oh my god. But, uh, yeah. Wonderland. Um, yeah. Joe, I don't want to flex on your Godzilla knowledge, but uh, Son of Godzilla and Gadzuki are different characters. He just looks at the pile. Well, can you of imagine how much different Wreck It Ralph would be if instead of like Sonic and Bowser, they just had like Cloud Strife and. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Cloud Strife and a bunch of Final Fantasy characters that a general movie going yeah. audience would not recognize. <laughs> Man, yeah, so. Cloud Strife and uh, what other characters <laughs> does Square have that a general audience would recognize? Setzer. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Setzer. Final oh, Fantasy yes, the icon seven Setzer. characters. Yeah, everyone's favorite characters. You know, Setzer, Seifer, Zell, yeah. uh, Laguna, Remember those Irvine. Kids? Uh, My favorite thing about Setzer is that uh, 
Kingdom Hearts 2 canonizes him as, like, that one adult that enters into, like, a children's, <laughs> <laughs> like, co play competition yeah. and just, like, smacks all the kids around and gloats about having I the mean, championship belt. it's not out of character for him. Favorite thing that Kingdom Hearts 2 added, mine might have been the ability to skip cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> a camera that's not, like, <laughs> showing microscopic detail on the character models. Yeah. I mean, my favorite thing that Kingdom Hearts 2 added was Axel. Welcome back to Gear Check Games. This is episode 9 of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought the nightmare was over! <laughs> this is episode 9 of our Kingdom Hearts 1.5. I was hoping we were going to get a little ballet performance from Sora there. <laughs> to the perfect backing track. <laughs> not, not really a preview, more just like a revelation of what this level is. Um, it's your... This is your tournament level. Olympus Coliseum yeah. in this game is basically just, like, a couple of rooms, one of which houses, like, an enemy gauntlet. Yeah. It's everyone's favorite part of the anime, the tournament arc. Yeah. Um, once you unlock the Hades Cup, it's like a... I know we're completely ignoring Sabor right now. <laughs> is there for, anything to say? You just hit him. <laughs> yeah. He's not hard. Uh, Her. Oh. And he oh, never Sabor becomes hurts. harder. She. She, sorry. That'll be the last time we... I misgender a, a leopard. Yeah. I'll uh, rip my throat out if I do Edition. Oh my god, um, somebody give Sora a hug already. <laughs> the poor child, can... like, I mean, if it, let's be real, if this happened to a real kid his age, like... <laughs> Like the second he sees Pluto in Traverse Town, he, I, like I, I would probably that pro that's probably when I would start convulsing. We don't oh, need these know, title cards, oh. semantics. <laughs> now that I now that I think about it, I kind of understand where Clayton's coming from. He's like, I came here to hunt animals, <laughs> and you people found a man who acts like an animal, See, and now you're studying him. I'm bored. Here's <laughs> the thing. This Hashtag is a Clayton research. This but is a research expedition. Most dangerous game. Clayton Gorilla is man. a. I'm not sure what you know, expression they're trying to ten. convey there, but you know. You know who Clayton looked like in that close-up? Benny from the Mummy. Clayton, you may have all the gorillas, but you're on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> Honestly, I'd have a lot more respect for this game if his gun just, like, one-shot <laughs> killed you. Because it's an actual gun and not, like, a little fantasy creature punching at you with its little funny claws. Complete yeah. with, like, the GTA wasted screen. <laughs> Mortal Kombat blood spatters everywhere. <laughs> Fatality. No. So yeah, I think I think someone called me or some shit. This is gonna go on for about thirty seconds. God, why do you leave this in, Trey? Because <laughs> I'm too lazy to look through the file. It's entertaining. Well, there you, yeah, it's entertaining to listen to us desperately struggle for things to say when this happens. Here, hold on, let me generate some autotainment. Somebody ask me a question. Um, right. Nick, what do you eat ass? Weed eater. <laughs> Go Nick, do. don't answer that question. <laughs> no, Nick, please do. The Weed question's been eater. Shave and a haircut. You gotta say it. <laughs> and the eggplant's connected to the plot. The plot's yeah, connected to the mm -hmm. game. And that's how Chili's was born. Tarzan yeah. just got, uh, and pardon my use of the phrase, gear checked. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's how the phrase works. He doesn't have he got his vibe scope. checked. Is that, 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 that's more accurate. What is a gear check if not a vibe check, but for gamers? And here we see a hunk and his twink. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> you mean a bear and his twink? <laughs> no. Oh, I guess he is kind of hunky. You're right. Yeah. No, there's no. Phil is a bear. Phil is yeah, full a bear. bear. <laughs> uh, more than halfway through the game, I realized there was a better way to do the correction. Uh, but that's not till later, so uh, I hope you're ready for your eyes. Enjoy some your gray eyes check sake. games. Hold on, yeah. how much are we? How long are we putting up with this? Mm, there's about forty some odd episodes. You know, we make fun like, oh, it's the Winnie the Pooh world. It's the Sorry, it's the it's the world for babies. <laughs> But like, <laughs> imagine looking out the window and seeing Sora just standing <laughs> right outside. 
dead eye, thousand stupid. yard stare. Boy, that could be the fate of any Disney character. Well, once you uh, once you allow the darkness into your heart, Joe, everything is possible. Believe any shit people tell you. Okay. Well, I mean, well, to be it... fair, she didn't specify that she was talking about Sora. <laughs> yeah. For all we know, <laughs> she's, she's pointing at Donald, Donald. <laughs> and she's like, "Look at how he replaced you." And he's got his cool new friends, and he doesn't want to invite he's you got on his, his cool adventure. New friends, Sora and Goofy. Goofy's just like that piece of shit duck. <laughs> that's why Sora. That's why Riku was I always. What we had was special. That's why I gotta. I gotta talk to every bay in the room. <laughs> so, mm, nice. so you polygons. mean you mean Yuffie and Leon, and yes. to a lesser extent, Sid. How are you gonna make the ultimate bat plane if you never? If you never buy a gummy. I just tried to make my gummy ships look like cool ships. How are you gonna make the ultimate gummy ship cactar with a butt? <laughs> I thought the ultimate gummy ship that we made was Sonic running after a chili dog. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that is the one. Uh, I was wondering when, when one of us was gonna bring that up. When we did our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts, uh, I, th I think both of them, uh, we took turns making a new gummy ship to go to each world. <laughs> And uh, the, the one we ended it off on was Sonic running after a floating chili dog. Mm -hmm. That was how we oh, yeah. flew heroically we, into the villain's final fortress. It, we, we called it Too Fast, Too Love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you show the whole ship building process? <laughs> Let me Unfortunately, just scrub, scrub no. through the episode to see if it takes the whole episode. No, not quite. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to spare you the building for the Gear reveal the, after uh, I name the ship. Gears. <laughs> Uh, I thought that you were gonna name it Jeb Bush. <laughs> right, I don't know if you're ready two. for this. Are you are you ready for the most impractical <laughs> polygons? <laughs> Where did that is come that a, from? Is that, a, is that a basketball hoop? <laughs> <laughs> what if this or the next episode started with a shout out from the actual Gilbert Gottfried? <laughs> Is he on Cameo? He is. We are in a crisis. Do not spend your money on these things. It's less than $100, I think. What? Why? Why is he selling himself so cheaply? Well, the question is, why is Billy Zane so expensive? Because oh, yeah. he's the final boss, so Nick, all right? There's a hierarchy <laughs> to these things. Is that the Kingdom Hearts in Kingdom Hearts 2... Is not Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. It's the False Hearts. It's a faker. It's just like, it's just a big ball of souls that Zemnus is trying to put together to like get ultimate power. Here's something. I'm calling it now. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get to the end of Kingdom Hearts Nine, the the finale of Tetsuya Nomura's Triple Triad trilogy. Ooh, can we play triple some Triple Triad? I'd game, be down. Love game, that game series. Where we finally find out that Kingdom Hearts was the friends we made along the way. Hmm. So, as opposed to here, where it's just like, oh no, there's some bad guys. Uh, let me use up here's, one of my three magic wishes. Here's a fun fact about uh, the original Arabian Nights version of the story. Uh, he uses a wish to get out of the cave that he's trapped in, but it's not from the genie of the lamp, it's from the genie mm -hmm. of the ring, which is just another genie that he finds in the cave of wonders or treasures oh my or God, whatever Nick. it was called. <laughs> There's a well, genie of the ring wrong. in Sonic and the Secret Ring. Yes. <laughs> is that game uh, more accurate to the original story than the Disney movie? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> He knows about the keyblade. Wait, Genie's only been in his lamp for 200 years? Is that I what he guess. just said? Well, no, maybe the last time he was out was 200 years ago. Yeah, I mean, that's what well, I Well, no, in the movie I he says he was in there for yeah. 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. Is well, he referring to, like, the a, collective yeah. 10,000 years, or, like, the 10,000 years it's been since he was freed? Well, I don't know, because he says that it can give you such a crick in the neck, so one would assume that he was in there the whole time. But also, compared to the amount of time that he's out, it could just be that cumulatively, it, the amount of time that he's out is, like, trivial compared to the amount of time that he's in. Yeah. Maybe since he's been quarantined for so long <laughs> that he's lost all track of time. I couldn't relate. What was that that noise? Now, now what do we do after we defeat our enemies? We go we down their... Force, force ourselves down their throat. Yeah. 
Well, no, the tiger head's like, thank you for freeing me. As your reward, get inside my mouth. As your reward, <laughs> it is time for the boar corner. You have to get, Feel you free have to, get to use my uvula as a punching bag. <laughs> rapida, 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 rapida. But please, play in the spleen all you wish. These monkey statues actually help you. So is the Cave of Wonders head just like cool with this? It's like, yeah, you freed him I will from let the you inside me for the greater good. <laughs> what I desire is man's red fire. Wow. Why did they get Who's... Christopher Walken? I don't know. Because he wonder, wants to be a man. man is tough. he on cameo? I don't think so. And if he was, uh, I would not be surprised if he charged more than Billy Zane. <laughs> How much is Billy Zane again? $500. God. Can anyone in the comments tell me why Billy Zane thinks he can get away with charging $500 on Cameo? Good and idea, why Nick. People That'll pay drive up him? the engagement. He's, God forbid, using our videos as walkthrough. Um... <laughs> if you um, if you want First to make off, this, don't. yeah. But second of all, if you're still here, um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're really gonna do your boy Aladdin dirty like Betray that? Betray Aladdin. I already did third of all. Genie, put put God, put I some just, just like what Jaf dark goop in the keyhole. I just remembered Damn. what Jafar's third wish is. Oh my God. Ugh, Jafar this game. is a Jafar is a villain. <laughs> Jafar's third wish is to return in Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar. <laughs> Jafar's Genie, third wish. For my third wish, I want a direct to video sequel. <laughs> for my third and final wish, write me an onion article. <laughs> what? Oh my God. We regret to inform you, but it is Jafar. This is Gear Check Games. Sora's having a seizure. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, so here's uh, Maleficent 1 and Maleficent 2 uh, talking about the boy. And you're not sure if they're talking about Sora or if they're talking about uh, Aladdin. And that's it's, the joke. Uh, it's Maleficent and great value Maleficent. <laughs> yeah. And taunts him by like, oh, the genie's more powerful than you. Which tricks Jafar into <laughs> wishing to become a genie so that Aladdin can defeat him. Is she just the Yamcha pose? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It is. <laughs> just like Photoshop her out of that spot and into the the no, world sphincter that we mentioned, where it's just the no. giant like crater in the room. <laughs> Leave her in the same exact spot, just Photoshop the crack lines from the Yamcha scene. <laughs> God, you know what? I, 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 I know we've been like super negative for like this whole world, but I hope it's been entertaining in some way. Mm -hmm. But I have oh, to continue being negative is. because if you thought that last boss was a pathetically <laughs> terrible execution of a good idea, yeah. this entire boss yeah. fight is just Genie Jafar standing in the background sl throwing these very slow boulders at you while you mm -hmm. beat the everlasting crap out of Iago. <laughs> He's throwing slow boulders. Don't make fun yeah. of those boulders like that. You they don't have even... families and friends. You don't... Guys, I really want to spend the 150 bucks. Oh, by the way, retcon from a previous episode, Gilbert Gottfried is 150 bucks on Cameo. I really want to spend the 150 bucks to get Gilbert Gottfried to say something. I really if you do. do, we can edit it in, but I'm not going to tell you to do it, but I won't, I'm I won't not turn it down you if you do, do it. it. Also, yes. but... I will legit put this offer I'm not, off the table. I'm not going to tell you to spend $150 getting a cameo appearance by Gilbert Gottfried on our episode of our Let's Play, but stimulus checks See, are coming right. to people. Gonna... Uh -huh. And that's why that's why I enjoy every minute of being in Have I Pooh's ever, World. Have I ever told you guys about the Twilight Zone episode <gasps> with Piglet's original voice actor? Cease and desist, so don't listen to you. I thought you said mm. cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if and I was that Piglet, day, that's what I'd be thinking. <laughs> on that day, Nintendo fans received a grim reminder. <laughs> oh He's Sora for Robern. <laughs> Man. He's, uh... I, I will become... say, even though they just kind of, like, took a song from the movie and made it the background music, it's a better fit here than it is in one of the worlds coming up, and I think you know which one I'm... <laughs> referring to. Mm -hmm. But we'll get he's there. A, he's Sora McGregor. 
<laughs> you and McSora. All right, General Luna. Kenobi. <laughs> so is Piglet Anakin? I thought you'd gone away. And Obi Wan is Pooh. What you asked for? From my point of view, Christopher Robin is evil. Well, then you are lost, Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> and Hold an on. owl wait, is wait. the emperor. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you are on the Jedi Council, yes, but we don't grant you the rank <laughs> of master. Samuel L. Eor. <laughs> Eor L. Jackson. Oh my God! Can you imagine him with a blue <laughs> instead of, instead of a blue lightsaber? He has like a blue laser tail, and he's like all cyberpunk and shit. <laughs> he just has a. a lightsaber staple to his butt. <laughs> Fear leads to the dark side. Will someone please pull this thing out? Sorry, that wasn't I nearly love, depressed enough to be Eeyore. Fear I leads love to how S- somewhere just, Peter Cullen just wins. I love how Gopher is Yoda in this fiction that we've created, <laughs> because Gopher is like the only character in Disney's Winnie the Pooh that isn't from uh, A.A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah. Gopher, the uh, most powerful of all Pooh's allies. Those were great advertisements. I, I loved those advertisements for Stitch. Yeah, yeah. Great Lilo movie. and Stitch is like one of the best Disney movies. Don't at me. Actually, do at me because I'm desperate for social media validation. Mm-hmm. But it's not about this. Good. <laughs> I, li- I like a uh, baby Riku's uh, sleeveless, hoodless raincoat look. Kingdom babies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but after all these years, I still can't tell what country Geppetto is supposed to live in. Italia. Like, but because, c- like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, anything but that. I just, I just can't place his voice. His he just name is like literally the most Italian name. Well, that his exists. name is, but like, like I don't know. His voice is whatever they want it to be. He's like, he's from you know, you know where Geppetto is from. He's from Spagonia, from Sonic Unleashed, <laughs> the country that's just like yeah. every country in Europe rolled into one. Yeah, he's from a Europe. Yeah, Europe land. He's from South Europe, S Europe, Syrup. Yeah, he's from Syrup. The goofster. <laughs> he's tall, he's dark, he's handsome, he has a kid, he's responsible. What's yeah. that to love? He's, ha- he's a single dad. What's hotter than he's that? He's half man, half he dog. <laughs> he's, he's a mug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's his own best friend. <laughs> he's a mug. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1 is the gateway drug to Organization 13. <laughs> oh my god. That's how they get you. Be smart, That's kids. my favorite designer drug, Organization 13. Be careful. You can't betray the organization. They'll destroy you. No yeah, way. To me, it looks like a delicious, delicious gourd. I feel Kinda like this, yeah. you know, I, I'm not much of a fan of the aesthetic of most of the rooms inside Monstro that we've been through so far. But I feel like this one strikes a better balance, where it's like stylized colors, but like it still looks like the innards of a creature. Yeah, especially that sphincter that Parasite Cage is standing uh, on. Can we not talk mm. about those again? <laughs> say, say it again slower, with more meaning. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Parasite... that's what it is. <laughs> yes. It's a flesh door. No, he was just ch- he was just talking about a uh, Chucky Finster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not our longest. <laughs>